Well, this might be a bit of a controversial video for me, for my channel, but I have to be honest with you guys because that's what my channel is all about. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about honesty, no matter what you guys think of my opinions. And, you know, that's what I think everyone should be. I think everyone should be honest. So, James Gunn back on as Guardians of the Galaxy 3 director. He is back, everyone. So... What do I think about this? Well, let me start off by saying that when he was fired uh, last July, I believe, um, I was not a big fan of that. I really did not like that whole situation. And it wasn't because I am a huge fan of James Gunn. I think he's a great director, and I think he does a great job with Guardians movies. And I love his Guardians movies. Um, but I... And I definitely don't agree with his political views and all that stuff. And he's just extremely irritating, especially on Twitter. So I don't really agree with him at all. I d I'm not like a huge fan of him personally. I do like his Guardians movies though, and I think he does a fantastic job with those movies. But despite all of that, I wasn't a fan of him being fired from Guardians because of things that he said like eight years ago. It was a very similar situation to Kevin Hart. I don't think people should be... Like, I don't think people should be condemned for the things that they've done in the past that they have changed their ways about. James Gunn is one of those people. He said those things a long time ago, back when it was cool and edgy to be um, on Twitter and stuff. And you, you know, people were very edgy back then in those days of Twitter. Twitter. Um, and you know, part of my, you know, my beliefs, my faith as a Christian, I don't think that people should be held to the things that they've done in their past because when people, when people have changed their ways and stuff, you know. Um, and you know, that's that's what I think about that's what I think about James Gunn. Um, am I saying that he's like a great person now? No, I definitely don't. But for what he was condemned for, for tweets that he made years ago, I think that was a wrong reason to fire him from Guardians. So I wasn't a big fan of that. And I wanted, I wanted him to make Guardians 3 because he is literally the only one that I think can do a good job at Guardians. So I'm happy that he's back. I really am. And I'm glad that he's making Guardians 3. I don't think anyone else would be able to do it the justice that it deserves. I, th I find it very interesting that they're announcing this right now during this whole Captain Marvel fiasco as well. And I'm not sure exactly why they did that. Maybe just to distract people from the Captain Marvel disaster fiasco as far as like the PR nightmare and all that stuff goes. But, you know, those are kind of my thoughts about it. So let's go ahead and look at this article and see what they have to say about James Gunn. In a remarkable turn of events, Disney has reinstated James Gunn as director of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Disney fired Gunn in July 2018 after old offensive tweets from the filmmaker were resurfaced by conservative personalities online. The firing was controversial, with Guardians of the Galaxy stars including Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Bradley Cooper, and Dave Batista signing an open letter asking for the filmmaker to be rehired. Batista, in particular, has been outspoken in his support of Gunn. After the firing, Gunn had moved on to Warner Brothers in DC to write and direct The Suicide Squad, which has Idris Elba set to star. More to come. So that's all that we know about it right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole situation because now that, you know, I'm starting to have a bit of a bigger platform, there's a lot more of you guys now on my YouTube channel. And back when I made those videos about James Gunn, there was literally, like, no one watching my videos and stuff. So I don't know what people will think about this whole situation. Um, I know that Jeremy covers it, and I know that he's on the op... Uh, Jeremy Griggs from um, uh, Geeks and Gamers and stuff, and I know that he's on the opposite spectrum of this than I am. He, he was all for James Gunn being fired. And, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely, let me just get this straight. I definitely don't condone the things that James Gunn said in his tweets. I think they were disgusting and I think they were wrong. I totally get that. I totally do. But as, as a person, I am all about the redemption of people. And when people change their ways, I try not to hold them to the things that they've done in their past. So that's just me. That's just who I am. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole situation. And, uh, you know, I'm just being honest. You guys can be honest too in the comments below. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.